Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sirenet Television. We're going to take a look at a brand new product here on Sirenet and it is a product that is new but it's also been around for many, many years. In fact, it's probably quite safe to say that this product has been around in its current form for probably close to a hundred plus years. And essentially what I'm talking about is a Unity Spotlight. The Unity Spotlight, of course, can be put into a variety of different types of vehicles. You can mount it in the side pillars up in the front of the vehicle. In some cases, you actually can mount it in the roof of the vehicle. I remember when I was in South Africa, we used to mount them in the roofs of ambulances that allowed us to illuminate a field when we arrived on scene, or as we like to call it over there, on, in the felt. But the most important thing is today is we're now in the 21st century and the product line has changed. So in my hand right now is a PAR 46 halogen light head. That's what this is. Over here, as I step back for a second, this happens to be a square version. They do come in different shapes and sizes. The more common one is the round one, which is the one I'm holding here. You'll see it on police vehicles, as I said earlier, and on fire vehicles. Again, it's, it's, it's on a variety of vehicles, all different shapes and sizes, as well as, of course, utility vehicles. The interesting thing is that LED has finally come to play in this particular market. And we here at Sirenet are pretty excited about a product that's made in the United States. And it's a product that we here at Sirenet will have under our Sirenet brand. And that will be otherwise known as the SNSL1 series. SL standing for scene light, one being the first one that we're offering. And essentially what it is, it's an LED PAR 46. So let's go check it out. This is the light head here, which I'm holding. And if camera two wants to zoom in, you can clearly see the interesting optics that are being created inside this light head. There's a total of nine Gen 3 high output LED modules inside here. It has an aluminum heat sink on the back, uh, so therefore there's going to be some heat generated, obviously, not on the front though, but the heat is going to be generated and dissipated through the heat sink on the back. The nice thing about this particular product, as I pick up the halogen one, that's what I'm holding here, this is the LED, as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward transfer. So what you would do is basically take out the halogen head and drop in the brand new LED head. And you might say, well, why would I want to do that? I mean, you know, halogens worked for me. It's always been around. Why switch to LED? I'm going to show you right now. Let me step behind here. Now, again, this is the, obviously, the square head. And we will show you the round head as well uh, just now. But I'm going to turn this one on here in the studio. And if I can get the grounding correct, which I should be able to do in a second. There you go. You have to ground these lights, that's why I was adjusting that. And I'm going to point this up at the camera crew. And the light went out. <laughs> it's live television, folks. Um, as I point this up directly at the camera, which, of course, it really enjoys. But as you can see, the intensity, and this, of course, is inside a building, but you can see the intensity right now on the camera lens. So that's the halogen light. So let's turn that off. And we're now going to turn on the LED unit. The nice thing about the LED unit is, again, it's protected. So in the event that you inadvertently connect the wrong wires, it's not going to do anything. So this, and I haven't pointed at the camera yet, but you can start to see how bright this light is. I mean, it is intense, OK? So you can clearly see the difference. And this is not smoke and mirrors, folks. This is, this is exactly what this looks like. Basically, it's white out. You cannot look at this light. It is so intense. There's a very interesting factor about this. If you're stopped at a scene and you're looking inside the car, you know that when this particular LED light head is on, you're going to be able to see what's going on inside the vehicle. If somebody decided to step out of that car, you can then obviously point this light directly at them. They are not going to be able to see around it they're going to be incapacitated. So it is a very, very interesting product to do that. And as my cameraman steps back from the amount of light they're just being blinding them with. So again, this product is available here on Sirenet. So why don't you go ahead and check out the tech specs. They are available. There's a spec sheet here. And we will be getting some close-up shots in a couple of seconds. And we will also be showing this light as well in the actual round housing. It's very easy to put together. So it's a great product. It's made in the United States. 
by a really great company and it's available here on sirenet.com under the designation SNSL1. I'm Stuart, you've been watching Sirenet Television. Thanks for watching.